Ever wondered how machine learning algorithms group similar data? How do they sift through vast amounts of information to find patterns and similarities? This is where mean shift clustering, a fascinating machine learning concept, comes into play. Imagine a bustling city with people going about their daily lives. Now imagine if you could group these people not by their age or occupation, but by their behaviors, interests, or routines. That's essentially what mean shift clustering does, but with data. It's like a virtual social scientist, observing and grouping data based on its unique characteristics. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Mean shift clustering is a type of unsupervised learning, which means it doesn't need any prior training to do its job. Instead, it learns directly from the data it's given. It's like a curious explorer venturing into the unknown without a map, but armed with a clever strategy to find patterns and similarities. To make sense of the data, mean shift clustering uses a window, or kernel, to examine small sections of data at a time. It's like observing the city through a telescope, moving from one area to the next. This window shifts towards the densest part of the data, the area where most data points are gathered. Hence the name mean shift clustering. What's interesting is how this shift happens. Within its window, the algorithm calculates the mean or average of the data points. It then shifts the center of the window towards this mean. This process repeats, the window continually shifting towards areas of higher density until it can't move any further. The result? A cluster of similar data points. In the city analogy, it's like identifying a hotspot where people gather the most, be it a popular cafe, a park, or a shopping district. The algorithm is drawn towards these hotspots in the data, grouping similar data points together just like people with similar interests or routines. To sum it up, mean shift clustering is a powerful tool in machine learning. It's an unsupervised learning technique that doesn't require prior training. It uses a window to examine and group similar data points, shifting towards the densest part of the data. It's like a virtual social scientist or an explorer finding patterns and similarities in vast amounts of data. So next time you see a machine learning model grouping data, remember the mean shift clustering. It's the curious explorer behind the scenes, making sense of the data and revealing the hidden patterns within. It's the unsung hero of data science, turning chaos into order one data point at a time.